This week on Planet Cruise Weekly, we are looking at a cruise line enriched in British tradition and classic style, Fred Olsen. Now this family-run line operate affordable cruises which focus on real attention to detail by taking guests closer to destinations. So stay tuned for this week's Planet Cruise Weekly. Fred Olsen continue to operate a fleet of four ocean-going cruising vessels, Balmoral, Braemar, Black Watch and Boudicca. And it's these ships that we're going to discuss today on this episode of Planet Cruise Weekly. One of the most crucial aspects of a Fred Olsen cruise is the itinerary itself. Fred Olsen sails to destinations far and wide, all over the world, and their smaller sized ships can access many places and waterways that larger vessels simply can't. To make destination discovery with Fred Olsen even more memorable, they now offer guests the chance to journey to the water's edge and experience exploration like never before with the use of ribs, these specialized boats that are kept on the ship, which you can then go off and explore with. You could venture into a stunning fjord, catch the beauty of an untouched beach, or sail past an isolated spot of spectacular coastline only accessible by these smaller boats. By taking a trip on one of these ribs, it's a lot like a, an expedition cruise in that you'll see parts of a destination you'll sail to that most ocean liners just don't get to see. At the point of filming, Balmoral, Boudicca and Blackwatch currently have ribs on board and they're going to be added to the Braemar very soon. And again, this is really unusual in the cruising industry and it's something which really stands out with Fred Olsen as a unique point. Fred Olsen provide a wide assortment of activities on all their cruises. There's a selection of guest speakers and performers on each cruise, arts and craft lessons, fun quizzes, and a lot more. On a sea day, you'll have plenty of time to indulge a hobby or learn a few new skills with photography talks, ballroom dancing lessons, singing and language lessons, theater workshops, watercolor classes, and even a book club. In addition to that, there's a wide range of games scheduled throughout sea days, and these include uh, carpet bowls, my favourite, uh, table tennis, deck weights, bingo, and of course the famous afternoon trivia. There's always something to do in a relaxed and fun environment. The guest talks will include varied subjects from aviation to wine tasting. On some itineraries, there will be information to highlight a particular area of interest or destination. Now, all cruises will give you preparation for arrival into each port with knowledgeable port lectures that will share the information you need to make the most of your time ashore. A Fred Olsen Cruise treats you to a selection of live shows in the evening. Uh, this could be a cabaret, uh, some live music or some quick fire stand-up comedy. So you take a seat and you relax and you enjoy, perhaps with the choice of a soft or alcoholic drink from the bar. Now, continuing into the evening, you could dance the night away with a variety of music provided by the live bands and DJs. And there are even dance hosts on board to ensure you never have to dance alone. Dining on a Fred Olsen cruise is always a highlight. At breakfast, you can start your day with fresh fruits and cereals, or even a hearty, perfectly cooked full English if you wish. For lunchtime, there is a wide range of varied and interesting menus, including hot and cold buffet options. Each ship hosts a five course a la carte dinner. Plus, for anyone who's a little peckish before bed, there's always the late night buffet. Now, while the main restaurants are popular on Fred Olsen ships, there's also an option to eat in a specialty dining restaurant for an evening or two. Yes, a small supplement will apply, but the dining experience is really, really special. The grill can be found on all ships and offers cooked to order high quality steaks and seafood in elegant and sophisticated surroundings. And when we recently filmed on board Black Watch, we dined here and it was absolutely amazing. Great views and beautiful, beautiful food. Also on Balmoral and Black Watch, there is another venue called The Poolside, which offers cuisine influenced by the destinations and regions on your itinerary.
Balmoral, Braemar, Boudicca and Blackwatch all feature a Neptune Lounge, which is the main entertainment venue. Also an observatory lounge with panoramic outlooks, a morning light pub, a bookmark cafe for coffee, fresh chocolates and more, and an alfresco marquee bar. Now guests travelling on Boudicca and Black Watch will find a new concept for Fred Olsen too, the Oriental Room, serving a delightful collection of speciality teas. There are five main types of cabin with Fred Olsen cruises. Interior, porthole, picture window, balcony and suite. Each room is equipped with climate control, an interactive smart TV, a hairdryer, desk, phone, fridge, which can be stocked as a minibar, bonus, and tea and coffee making facilities as standard. And in keeping with the country house hotel style experience, you'll have a cabin steward or stewardess who will turn down your room daily. Now, if you choose a suite, you'll receive a suite dreams package. And this gives you a host of additional benefits, including a welcome bottle of sparkling wine, a fruit basket, which is topped up on request throughout your cruise, uh, flowers or a plant in your suite, uh, a bathrobe, slippers and luxury towels, a free pressing service for formal wear, binoculars, a world atlas and a country guide for your reference and an afternoon canopy service. You'll also be provided with a daily newsletter featuring national and international news, a pair of compact umbrellas for use ashore and laundry service discount vouchers. There's nothing like taking in the fresh sea air as you walk along the deck on a Fred Olsen cruise. Alternatively, you may choose to swing lengths in one of the pools, or if you'd rather just relax, you can sit back in the jacuzzi on board. Now, if you really want to get the blood pumping, there are some excellent fitness studios where you can run, row, or lift weights. There's even a tennis court for those sailing on Black Watch. Now across the fleet, there's a variety of yoga, aerobics and Pilates classes in the fitness studio. Now they are at an additional cost, but well worth it. And they're suitable for everyone from beginners to regular gym goers. The Atlantis Spa is open daily and offers a wide range of beauty and relaxation treatments, including massages, facials, manicures, pedicures and hairdressing. Again, these are at an additional cost, but it's always nice to be pampered when you're on holiday. So there we have our little overview of Fred Olsen Cruises. We do hope you enjoyed it and that you found it helpful. We'd ask you please to share it amongst your friends and family, people that would be interested in cruising and finding out more about Fred Olsen. And let us know what you think in the comments below and let us know where you're going on your next cruise and what your plans are moving forward. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget, keep on cruising. Hi everyone, thanks very much for watching the video. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe below and remember to click the bell to get those notifications turned on. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel content like this, then click on the videos to the right. It will be really, really informative. Or you can click on the Planet logo to the left and go to our website for some really fantastic goods. Thanks for watching.